Duke. It's time now for some real education. Mark Chagall week on the Dr. Duke show. He was born in 1887, died in 18, 1985. So almost a hundred year lifespan for him. And we need more of our great artists living that long and a lot fewer of our politicians. Uh, the, we're, we're, we're ending up these, this uh, instant classic week talking about the great artists. Take a look at this beautiful picture. It's, it's really unique, it's different. I, I confess up front, I am not the biggest fan of modernist art of, of what happened between about 1895 and through about 1970. It doesn't do much for me, but I can appreciate it. I can appreciate it on an uh, aesthetic and an intellectual way. And so take a look at this picture. Uh, and this is Paris through the window, Paris par la fenêtre, after Marc Chagall moved to Paris from Russia as an, em an, a, an emigre, right, because of the persecutions of Jews and of the Soviet Union, after Chagall moved to Paris from Russia in 1910, his paintings quickly came to reflect the latest avant-garde styles. See, I don't know that that's such a good thing. Uh, it was good for him to get away from that oppression. But if you think about the authenticity of his paintings in Russia, f almost protest, screams of protest, and then you look at what happened when he got to the free world, um, something may have been lost. But in Paris Through the Window, Chagall's debt to Orphic Cubism and his colleague Robert de Lunay is clear in the, in the semi-transparent overlapping planes of vivid color in that sky above the Paris landscape. The Eiffel Tower, which appears in the cityscape, was also a frequent subject in both artists' work. For both artists, it served as a metaphor for Paris and perhaps modernity itself. Chagall's parachutist, as you can see them on the right-hand side of the picture by the Eiffel Tower, Chagall's parachutist might also be a reference to contemporary experiences since the first successful parachute jump occurred in 1912. This painting was painted around then. Other motifs suggest the artist's native home. The painting is an enlarged version of a window view in a self-portrait painted one year earlier, which the artist contrasted his birthplace with Paris. The Janus-like figure in Paris through the window, two-faced figure in the bottom right there, has been read as the artist looking at once westward to his new home in France and eastward to his oppressive but steered, still dear homeland.